Hey kids, welcome back to the garden. There's been a request from Lizzie in Alaska to have an update on our plants. So let's see how they're doing. The first plant that we looked at four weeks ago was the bleeding heart. Remember, it was just barely buds coming out of the ground. They were the first ones we saw. Um, so this one is, if I compare it to my hand, uh, about one and a half hands high. So this is doing really well. Leaves look great and hopefully we'll get some flowers soon. I've compared my peonies to others around the neighborhood and mine aren't as tall as others, but they are doing pretty well. So um, they are about a hand and a half tall and you can see the leaves will be opening pretty soon. And then before you know it, we'll have pom-pom size flowers. Next to the peony, we have our raspberries. And you might remember I had mentioned that the peony doesn't like to compete with other plants for its roots. So maybe that's why my peony isn't as tall as others. But let's take a look at these raspberries. We didn't get to look at them before. Do you see they have pickers on their stems? That's the raspberry's way of protecting itself and its offspring. It's called an evolutionary adaptation. An adaptation is a beneficial trait, one that helps the organism survive to pass on its traits to its future generations. So those pickers that scratch us when we try to pick the raspberries off the bush do the same to animals. So animals won't eat the raspberries, which contain the seeds for the raspberry bush. That makes it so the plant can keep growing. In addition to the sage, I've been transplanting our lavender and you can see the lavender is doing really well. Um, I keep it indoors most of the time here in Michigan. It's chilly right now. And then I bring it outside on nice sunny days to start to harden it. So if you're starting plants inside and you plan to bring them outside for the winter, you want to bring them out a couple hours each day before you bring them out for good. So you want them to get used to the temperature and you don't want it to be a shock to their system. So one of the first projects we started was our seed box. We started um, growing some seeds so that we could bring it outside um, in the summer. So we're hardening these as well. Our first ones, these are the oldest ones. Um, our first ones were our chamomiles. We planted those four weeks ago. Um, they are not growing quite like the others. Three weeks ago, we planted the lemon balm. These are doing really well. I actually had to thin them out because they were a bit crowded in their boxes. And then just two weeks old, we have our um, butterfly flowers. So we are going to plant those to attract the butterflies and maybe some hummingbirds to our garden. Over here I didn't introduce you to the variegated arrowheads yet. The variegated arrowheads, variegated means that it's striped. So if you look at their leaves, um, you can see it's green with white stripes. And then arrowhead because it's shaped like an arrow. Um, but they're having a sunny vacation today outside. Out too. back our stone cap is starting to take on shape as it's getting a little bit older. Again this one's going to go real big right now. It's just a couple inches tall. So that's the way things are looking here in Michigan. What about Alaska? You have quite a different climate than we do. You have less sunlight, your temperature is quite a bit cooler, so you're probably gonna have different plants than we do here in Michigan. You'll have to identify them and then show me around. Thanks for watching, bye.